वेलकम बैक टू लिटरेचर हब टूडे टॉपिक इज द एज ऑफ रिवाइवल वी विल बी लुकिंग इन टू द हिस्ट्री द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स एंड ऑल्सो द राइटर्स ऑफ दिस एज फर्स्ट द स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट ऑफ रिवाइवल स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट ऑफ द रिवाइवल ऑफ लिटरेचर इन यूरोप बिगेन विद द फॉल ऑफ कॉन्स्टेंट इनोपल इन टर्की कॉन्स्टेंट इनोपल यू कैन सी इन द मैप it was the only route which connects europe with asian countries it was the only trade route or the road to uh, you know which uh, can connect asia and europe turkey people or the turks they captured this constantinople and um, then the route was closed down many people living there in constantinople and also people who were living Uh, near the constantinople they all ran towards italy because of this uh, attack of turks in constantinople they ran uh, to italy they brought to italy some of the manuscripts some of the greek works some of the literature what they had because they were highly developed uh, people uh, in context of literature what happened then uh, then in italy there were we can see the revival happened people started taking interest into the literature by studying this greek manuscripts and this literature which people brought with them from the uh, from the asian areas then what happened the influence that is what i was talking the revival of literature started as renaissance in italy in 1453 with the fall of constantinople then it moved to spain france and then in england so in 14th century we can see the revival in italy but uh, in england this revival period actually started in 16th century and um, then people started reading old greek works of aristotle and plato they uh, started uh, reading this works this literature and a passion or we can say a craze of uh, reading and writing literature began and that's why this is known as the age of revival it was a revival of the existing knowledge and also the the we can say the vogue of that uh, time it started towards literature people now really thought about writing or reading the war of roses the war of roses was a war or a conflict or a battle we can say between the two house of royal family uh, one house was named as the house of lanchester and second was the house of york the house of lanchester was denoted with the red rose and the house of york was denoted with the white rose during this war what happened that literature uh, writing was very much affected people wrote very less literature because of this war situation going on in england these two houses were fighting for the throne of england and then what happened at the end to doors who was henry the 7th who henry the 7th tudor his surname was tudor he took the throne he married elizabeth of york so henry who was a tudor of lanchester house he married elizabeth of tudor and a settlement was done so who became the king henry the 7th and then after henry the 8th became the king and this rise of tudor began this dynasty or this uh, tudor dynasty was known as the royal bastards or the most notorious dynasty of england then the introduction of printing press william caxton was the person who uh, first uh, who was the first person who introduced printing press in england well it was invented by john gutenberg in germany but william caxton was the one who introduced it in england 
so it uh, accelerated the writing and the reading of literature then the famous writers desiderius iranmus he was a catholic priest a social critic a teacher and a theologian he wrote uh, no man is wise at all times or is without his blind sight this iranmus is known as the prince of humanitism and his most famous work is fully praise himself he also helped in protestant reformation he said that in the kingdom of the blind the only eyed man is king then we have thomas more he is uh, england's foremost christian humanist he is supposed to be catholic he was a cancel uh, a counselor of henry the 8 who was the tudor king he refused to sign the oath of supremacy that is uh, why he resigned the post which he had he also refused to sign the oath of succession in 1534 his most notable work is utopia then we have william tindale and uh, he, uh, richard tottel thomas watt and henry howard also many other writers were there like scam eliot thomas mallory william dunbar and i will be making separate videos on each of the writer now the conclusion or the characteristics of this age first of all is the fall of constantinople which begins the age of revival second is the introduction of printing press because of the fall of uh, inopal uh, constantinople people started taking interest into greek literature secondly after intro uh, introduction of printing press uh, there was much literature written and printed and people also read it it became a vogue third is the studies of greek literature it uh, gave uh, people uh we can say craze of writing and reading literature then the classical studies of aristotle and plato and logenus they, they were the classical writers and people started studying this classical writers and the emerging writers of this age contributed much to the literature which also impacted the later ages and that's all we have for today's lecture thank you for watching